Hi, welcome to the Nobel Vibe video series. We're talking about workflows and in this video we want to show you a little bit about the workflow question. So here in our workflow we have a review state and uh, when an item is reviewed we want to be able to ask the question uh, if it's accepted or rejected or if it needs more information. So at this point we would ask the question and it would transition to each state depending on what the user chooses or selects. To do this, we're going to expand our review state. We're going to click on review state and we're going to add a workflow question. And we're going to type the question text here. So our question is, do you approve this item? Again, avoiding capitalization in spaces, we give a data name. In this case, it's approval question. And we'll select OK. Now we have a workflow question. Uh, we need to select that workflow question to provide responses. So we've asked a question. What are the potential responses to the question? So we select workflow question. We select add workflow response. And the response text could be, yes, I approve. Data name approved. We're going to add a couple more. No, I reject this item. And we're going to add a third one, which is I'm not sure I need more information. We'll select OK. Now we have three workflow responses, each one with designated response text and data name. Now this doesn't actually move the items for us. As part of the workflow question, we need to build in transitions to each designated state. So under transitions, we'll select transitions and we'll select add, and we want to transition on response. We'll type the workflow question. This is again the data name, not the text, and the response. And where we would like it to go. If you ever have a question what the data name of the workflow question and response are, um, you can hover over the items. And here we see it's approval question and approved. Make sure that the spelling is exactly the same. Now it's going to ask us how uh, or under what conditions do we want this to occur. We want as soon as one person answers this response because we only have one individual. We would use this more in dealing with parallel workflows. In this case, we'll select OK, and now we have a transition on response. The graphical representation will show this in yellow. We have a yellow transition from review to accepted. I'm going to repeat this process, adding a transition on response for our approval question to rejected which would go to the rejected state. I'll select OK, and we can see that represented graphically below.